Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and I am bringing you a very special edition of Heart Gold Soul Silver. We are playing a Drayano hack. So this is Pokemon Sacred Gold and it is a little bit harder than the traditional Heart Gold Soul Silver games. So what he did, um, he obviously did some level jumping but not so severely like some Pokemon hacks that you might be familiar with so it's not too crazy and then we also have a uh, he's also uh, included all the way up to gen 4 Pokemon into this game since it is a technically a gen 4 game it's a gen 2 remake and uh, it does take place at the time of platinum diamond pearl so those Pokemon are available in this game And so basically that's what all this introduction is about. Some Pokemon have different typings. Some Pokemon can learn different moves. So it just depends. You can download this game. Uh, I downloaded this game. Just be careful where you download it from. Uh, I don't remember exactly where I downloaded it from. But uh, I can look it up later and let y'all know. But as of right now, we are starting our adventure and playing through... So let's go ahead and start off with our name. And we'll just go with the regular name here. Joe. Alright, let's see. Alright, cool. And that's going to be it for the name. Your name is Joe. Yes, it is. Alright guys, I am so excited to be playing Pokemon again. Zelda was fun. We did not finish it. We will go back to it eventually, but as of right now, I'm kind of burnt out on it. And I've been wanting to play uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke again. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy. Please do a follow, like, subscribe if you haven't joined yet. Also guys, if you are a loyal follower... Go ahead and check out our links on my post. We do have an uh, official podcast now with Zamora Gaming. It's called The Pokey Dippies. It's me and three of my friends. We talk Pokemon. We're going to go through Gen 1, do some battles in it, uh, and so on and so forth. Audio only on Spotify. And then I will also be putting the videos free on my Patreon. It's just to, you know... I'm not going to charge anyone to watch the video of what you can hear for free. But I am going to put it there so I can get my Patreon going. So if y'all do decide to want to donate or anything there, that's completely up to you. No pressure. But that is where you'll be able to view that. And here we go. We got all this stuff from Mom. And we are leaving the house. Also, guys, if you do not know, I do have Twitter, Facebook, of course, and a YouTube channel. Uh, I post past streams and such to my YouTube channel. Here, I always do my live stuff, and the podcast, obviously, will be on the Patreon, and I will tweet those out every week. And then the tweets will go... I'll post the tweet link here on Facebook. But here we go. We can continue on here. And of course, there's Silver in the background or whatever we choose to nickname him. Hi, Joe. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I've been curious about how Pokemon feel walking outside the Pokeballs. I was hoping I could give, I could have your help with the tests. Uh-oh, he's getting a phone call. Oh, yes. I got an email. Oh, he's getting an email. My bad. Hmm, yeah, uh-huh, okay. Hey, listen, I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. He says he has something, but we're so busy with our research. Can you pick it up for us? You can take one of the Pokemon in the machine! Alright, guys, and let's see who we will be picking. We have a Chikorita, we have a Totodial, and we have a Cyndaquil. I'm gonna go with Totodile here. Good old Captain Crunch. I'm mainly picking Totodile because there I do know about something later in the game. 
So, we'll be looking forward to that as well. But for now, we have our starter, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. It's a taste you can see. Or is that something else? Alright. Here we go. I like to go with Captain Crunch because it's a water type, so pirate theme, I guess you could say. And obviously, Crunch is because of that big old jaw he got. So, Captain Crunch is your nickname, and you'll be following me for the rest of my journey. As long as you stay alive, of course. Alright. If your Pokemon gets hurt, heal it with this. Oh, uh, Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Joe. I, I think I changed his, the way he talked already. Joe, I want you to have these to help you with your with your task. With your risk. With your task. He gave us potions, which is very nice of him to do for us. Alright, I need to change this text speed. Where is my stop button? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was the wrong button. No, I don't want to save yet. I need to go to options here. Jesus. I will learn these controls. Alright, shift, battle scene on. Let's go ahead and go with our green. And we should be good to go from here on out. So let's go ahead and go. Oh, look. L Laura, Lyra, what's your name? You got yourself a Pokemon. I gotta say, it's really, it's really cute. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes too. Now, I'm not crazy. Pokemon can talk back. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. All right, cool. Sounds good. You almost forgot your Meryl there. But I don't need. Oh yeah, I do gotta talk to her right now. Wait, Joe. Wait a second. Oh my god, transgender. Pokemon is all about uh, inclusion, I guess. But let's go ahead and show our mom our Totodile, I guess. Since we really have to. Oh, dude, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elm must have given it to you. No, really, genius? Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of a task? I see, that seems like a little difficult. Um... Okay, well, here you go. Pokey gear for you. You can call the trainers and you can call me too if you feel like. No. Okay, I, I guess. Select the Pokey gear button, blah, 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 blah. Teaching us how to use the Pokey gear, even though we said we know how. Thank you, Mom, for wasting my time. God. Oh, great. Wait a second. I'm gonna give him a Jewish accent or Jewish voice. There's no such thing as a Jewish accent. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Joe, register, Professor. I'm in the poker gear. I'll call you if anything comes up. Ugh, these sinuses. All right, now we can go ahead and move on here. And Nuzlocke does not officially start until we have our Pokeballs. So, we're kind of... Oh, look, a Wurmple. You don't see that in the everyday Gen 2 game. But we're going to go ahead and grind up to level 8 to match the... Match the rival trainer battle. Catch up there. Whew. And there's no uh, speed up button to tempt me, so... Y'all won't have to hear the glitchy music. But you will have to see every battle. Alright guys, who do you think will be our first Pokemon on Route 1? That is going to be a sight to see. Could be a Wurmple and a Hoot Hoot as far as we know so far. But we still don't have Pokeballs yet, so... I believe we'll get the Pokeballs once we get back from uh, Mr. Pokemon. 
But here we go. Making it through our Route 1. Or I, I'm not sure if it's still called Route 1. But we learned Water Gun already. So beautiful. Excuse me. I also forgot to check out our Pokemon. Captain Crunch, you are bashful. Oh, great. Bashful nature. And, of course, your Torrent ability. So, we got a generic uh, total dial here. It doesn't have a good nature at all, but we'll make it work. At least it's neutral, right? So, let's go ahead and make it to the first city. Cherry Grove. Ooh, we could get a Poochiana, too. I honestly like Poochiana. It's not a good Pokemon by any means, but it... It can do. It can get the job done. I've I've almost beat Gen three with it. It was on my team at least. Especially in Oras with the Thunder 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 Fang Thunder Punch. Silly Goose Pitchiana can't punch. Probably do Double Kick though. So we are utilizing our brand new water gun to take out this Poochiana. And we are almost there to the next city. Let's, let's hope we don't have to run into another Pokemon though. Alright, cool. Oh man. Oh great. Do we have to do the old man thing? Oh, you're a rookie trainer. Follow me. Alright, so we do have to do this. This is the Pokemon Center. This is the Pokemon. So guys, who'd y'all pick? Who would y'all pick as your starter if you're playing? I want to know. And then he's gonna show us the lake for some reason. It's not the weekend yet. I can't fish. And in this game, the fishing poles suck. You can't get them till way late in the game. Or at least the good ones, anyway. You get the old rod pretty quick. Oh, look! Well, he gives you the old rod right away. Now you can catch Magikops. Don't you want to Magikop? Well, since we're here at the first city, we might as well heal up our Totodile. Again... We don't have Pokeballs, so the Nuzlocke hasn't officially started. But, you don't want to have a death on Route 2, do you? So, we'll go ahead and continue on our adventure here. Bye, Pokemart! Uh, you remember the good old days when the Pokemart was a whole different... Huff, huff, I made it! I forgot one thing. Here's another token from it. Take it. The guide gent loaded map card on Joe's Pokegear. Oh, great. You can see the whole map now. You don't have to worry about if you're on Route 1 or 2, because it's not. It's Route 30, you dumbass. Well, thank you very much, sir. But what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. But here's a Weedle, and I'm not trying to get poison stung. So, we're poison pointed. So, I'm going to go ahead and go for a water gun. Oh, yeah. And now I remember what I was saying. I said, remember the good old days when you had to inconvenience yourself by going to two different buildings to get items and heal your Pokemon? Uh, those were the days. Now you do everything all in one, one spot. How dumb. Way to be convenient. Just kidding, guys. I prefer... <laughs> The new method. I play these old games like, damn it, I can't just go down to the right and get my items. We are a spoiled generation of Pokemon players. Well, the newer generation, I would say. Back in my day, we had to go to two different buildings. Oh, a Spinarak. That'd actually be pretty cool. Not that it's a good Pokemon or anything, but I've never used a Spinarak in a playthrough. One, because it's not a good Pokemon. Alright. String shot to lower my speed, but I don't think that matters too much. And I don't know if this thing has poison point, but I'm going to go ahead and go for the scratch, because I feel like it's going to be stronger. Eh, 
Yeah, it's about the same. Ooh, and we still outspeed the spinner rack, and we get the kill. 30 EXP. I think two more battles, and then we'll be level 8. Boom, 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 boom. That was my text tone for the longest time. All right, so basically he's saying, don't run in the grass because it attracts more Pokemon. But, eh, do you really think so? All right, so never do this, kids. When an old man comes out of his house and calls you, do not go back. But in Pokemon, you can do this. You can get a box for your apricots because he's the apricot collector. And he wants you to follow in his footsteps. Because you have no father figure in this game. So every old man knows this somehow. Because you're a Pokemon trainer. And wants you to follow in their footsteps. Oh yeah. Maybe that dude was onto something. We got through that big old patch of grass. With no encounter. Alright, so we are almost here at Mr. Pokemon, and we will go ahead and find out what he has to give to Mr. Elm, or Professor Elm, sorry. He didn't go all those years to, oh my god, who's this? Uh, I'm nervous. Nah, no, I'm nervous. There's Cynthia. Everyone knows Cynthia. Cynthia's that bad boss girl who likes to destroy people with her Metagross and Garchomp. And Lucario, and Togekiss, and Spiritomb, and Roserade. <gasps> Shudders! And Togekiss sometimes. <laughs> Is your name Joe by any chance? She knows my name! <laughs> I see. I guess you're... You are the trainer Mr. Pokemon was expecting. My name is Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer who hails from Sinnoh. Tell me, Joe. Have you heard... A story that tells the tale of the legendary trainer? You haven't. I'll briefly explain. The story tells that I'm the trainer. I'm just kidding. The story tells of a, how a trainer travels the land of Johto and Kanto, catching all the Pokemon known to mankind. He captures the most basic of legend of Pokemon, and even the most mythical of Pokemon, to eventually come face to face with the one who he call, who the Pokemon calls God. Whoa, shit, got deep. The archaeologic the archaeology in Johto region appears to back the existence of the story. It's interesting to be sure. Thank you for listening to me, Joe. You know, you remind me of a trainer I knew from Sinnoh. I was a trainer, I believe. You may not know it yet, but I think you are capable of great things. In fact, I'd like to help you reach your maximum potential. Here, let me give you a small gift. Oh yeah, we got an Eevee. Alright guys, what should I evolve this Eevee into is a real question. We're not going to nickname it for now. But we will eventually. Once we figure out what we're going to evolve it into. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Pokemon, get this Pokemon egg, and go back so we can officially start our Nuzlocke. Oh, he's getting the egg. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Joe obtained the mystery egg. A friend of mine from Equity gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell us what it is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, thank you kindly, Mr. Professor Pokemon. Or Mr. Pokemon in general. Ah, with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So, you're Joe. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for me for Professor- <laughs> I can't read! So, I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. I see. You must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. Here, treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like 
You to have. I, I can read an encyclopedia, but I can't read the <laughs> other words. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex, but I stayed too long. Alright, he's going back to Goldenrod to do a show. Okay, cool. Thanks. I got your number. I got Perfect Oak's number. He's going to be my new sugar daddy. And we're going to go ahead and continue on with our journey. Oh, great. Professor Ohm's already ringing our phone. H Hello. Oh, it's a disaster. Uh, um, it's just terrible. Uh, uh, what should I do? It's Oh, no. Uh, please get, get back here now. Oh, that was very rude of you. you. Can't just be demanding like that. But anyways, we're going to go back. So I guess, you know, we have to do what he says regardless of how we feel about how he just demanded us to do something. Alright, Captain Crunch, let's go ahead and scratch up this hoot hoot. Don't you dare growl us, sir. Alright, so Hoot Hoot is evidently going to go down here after all these growls it threw at us. I should have went for Water Gun, now that I think about it. But in the end, nothing else matters. Alright, so we can make our way downtown, walk real fast, face this pass, and we're homebound. Alright, so Spinarak comes onto the field, and we're going to go ahead and kill it real quick so we can get to level 8. And then we can go fight our rival. Scratch. Scratch. Scratch! We got to scratch. If you're itchy, then scratch. Screw it, we're gonna water gun this thing. Seems pretty bulky. Defensively. There we go. Spinarak finally goes down. We get our 30 EXP. Pathetic EXP that we desperately needed. And we learn a new move, Rage. It's all the rage to learn Rage. Sorry for my horrible puns. Alright, so we are making our way downtown, walking fast, paces fast, faces pass, and we're homebound. At the Pokemon Center. Do -do 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 -do. So we do have two Pokemon at the moment. So we do got to keep that in mind. Oh, let's see how this goes. Will our opponent have two Pokemon? That's the real question here. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste! That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I have... A good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Man, what's that dude's problem? He's really uptight. Is he gonna be angry all the time? Find out next time when we face Passer Boy. Oh, I thought he was gonna be like level eight. <laughs> well, I done goofed. You done goofed, partner. All right, so he goes ahead and growls us. So good thing we have a special attacking move. Okay, or I'm going to accidentally push Scratch again. But we do have a special attacking move. Let's see if it does any better. And he just called us weak. Even though we're destroying his Pokemon's life. Chikorita, just... Just faint already. Just get off my screen. You're wasting my time. I could be catching Pokemans right now. Ooh, we almost got a level. Hmm, are you happy now? <laughs> you beat me. <laughs> Wipes tears. Do you all know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. 
Sure, buddy. Not with that attitude. <coughs> oh, no. You pickpocketed me. Give me my trainer card back. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know how I got his trainer card without having to try and actually steal it from his pocket. But, evidently we did. So... That's neither here nor there, Game Freak. We're just gonna ignore that and move on. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Pretend that never happened. Oh, uplifting music for someone who just got robbed. Who are you? We are investigating the case of a missing Pokemon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Uh oh. Hold on a second. My man didn't do nothing. You can't do nothing to him. It was a red-haired boy, I tell you. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Obviously, I just accused you, and now that you're accusing somebody, you must be correct. Did you happen to get his name? Of course I did. Now we're gonna go with... Uh, Steely Dan. Oh, I can't. Hmm, what's a good nickname for a douchebag? Alright, his name was Kyle. Sorry if your name's Kyle. But, not sorry, at the same time. His name was Kyle. Because everyone hates Kyle. Not like that show, Chris. I see. So Kyle was his name. Yep. Thank you. I'm going to go apprehend the red-haired boy eventually. Joe, I'm glad they understand you're innocent. See you later. I have no proof that you're innocent, but oh well, they believe me. Joe, this Joe, this is terrible. Oh yes, that was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. Joe handed the mystery egg to the professor. Huh? Oh, this is an egg, isn't it? The this egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Ooh, I like to put spam in my eggs. Well, since it, he gave it to us, we might as well find out what the secret holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. <laughs> what? Oak oh, gave you a Pokedex. Joe, is that true? That's incredible. He is superb at seeing potential of po uh, people as trainers. Well, Joe, I know you are a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you. I guess. So, why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? Oh. If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League Champion. Or not. Haha. <laughs> Whatever you choose to do. Alright. So, he's basically telling us, go to the first gym in Violet City. Don't give up. He'll find out more interesting stuff about the egg and we can continue on with our story here there you are she's gonna teach us how to catch Pokemon she's gonna do a little giffy gaff goof and then she's gonna really show us Oh cool, there's no tutorial, she just gave us Pokeballs, and the challenge officially begins. Alright guys, so now that we have Pokeballs, we can officially start our Nuzlocke here. So we do have a level 5 Eevee to help us out with catching some Pokemon. It has the Runaway ability, and it is Hasty Nature, so that means minus defense plus speed if I am correct. But for now, let's go ahead and heal up real quick. And then we'll move Eevee to the front of the party. Because that's who we'll need to uh, catch us Pokemon. 
I believe our total dial is a little bit too high of a level right now. So luckily, I actually thought about this. Uh, gave us a... Come on, switch. Gave us a healing uh, thing early before all the way in the hometown. Oh, Evie! And now we can make our way... Oh, we caught something. Well, we found something. Fun! We found a red tata. Just what I wanted. <clears throat> Not exactly what I wanted, but we must catch the first Pokemon on each route. So let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this Rattata. And name it Poopy Pants and move on with our lives. Oh, you little bitch. Alright, we can't attack it again. So we must just throw another Pokeball. And we catch the Rattata. He is not going to make me throw my laptop across the living room. Alright, it eats everything. It knows where food is and it steals it from stupid trainers, as it said in episode one. And let's name you Gun. Because that's what it sounds like when you say his name. <clears throat> My god, excuse me. Doing that Mort voice really messed with me. Oh man, we could have got a Poochiana. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I don't even want it anymore. Let's go ahead and work our way up here and figure out what Pokemon we can catch. All right, Hoot Hoot is making an appearance. Uh, let's just run away. I don't want to get this thing too high a level and then we can't catch Pokemon. So. Oh. Alright, we found a potion. I knew it was there the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now we can move on to the town again. Make our way to the left path where Mr. Pokemon was and go ahead and see what Pokemon we catch over there. Excuse me. We can also catch Pokemon here, which is never a bad idea. Route 46. Let's see, what's chilling around over here? Ooh, a Spoink! That's actually a really cool Pokemon to catch this early on. I'm gonna go, oh, not tell Whip. Alright, well that was probably bad. Ooh, it knows Confusion. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna switch out here. Kind of afraid to hit it since we tail whipped it. So I might just throw a Pokeball here. I'm going to throw a Pokeball, see how it goes. If it just breaks out, we'll hit it with the Rage. It's our weakest attack. Maybe it won't do over half. All right, Rage, it's up to you. Don't kill it. Okay, cool. Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh-oh, can't use another one. So, Pokeball, do your worst. I mean, do your best. Okay. 
Spoink, I like you, dude. But stay in the ball. All right, Spoink listened. He didn't want to meet a uh, unsettling demise. So we got 911 here. That's how I'm going to nickname it. Because he's a pig. Nine one one. <laughs> I actually picked that starter over Sensequil because I know it will be gifted a certain Pokemon later on. So, just know it's going to be a fire Pokemon we're going to be gifted later. And I will use it to succession. But welcome to Reese. I know I probably said your name wrong, but welcome. All right, Eevee used Runaway to flee. Yeah, uh, I might. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do that. Uh, the the Charizard playthrough stuff here because I don't have access to all the games, and I don't know how to hack a Charizard into every game, so. As of right now, I am just doing this Drown on Nuzlocke. And it's going to be a fun one. It's supposed to be really hard, so... I've never played it. So we're about to find out. We're about to fuck around and find out, as they say. Alright, so I don't really want to use Eevee right now. kind of want to use a Spoink on my team, so I'm going to go ahead and start training that sucker up. So let's see if we can't grind a little bit here. Yeah, Sacred Gold. It's going to be a fun one for sure. I don't know if uh, Cricket Touch are the best thing to be... Uh, yeah, that's not good. Ooh, did I just fuckity fuck up? All right, Captain Crunch, get in here. You can take the hit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be uh, training up uh, against Crooked Tots. Let's just run away. There we go. So, there's that. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jesse. Well, hopefully you can come back I know you can there's two more po uh, that happened to me there's two more fire types you can catch there are magmar and ponita so you have a chance to get a fire pokemon back on your team I ended up with the mag mortar so there's still a chance but welcome to the stream Jesse all the same Yeah, Ponyta is good too. I think I got critted, so I got unlucky when I had my Ponyta, because I went Charizard, because I didn't start with Monferno. Okay, this game does not have the other thing, so I'm going to use this antidote. Eight Pokemon for the fourth through the four gyms. Yeah, it's tough. But, you can still prevail. I believe in you, Jesse. Oh, that's not what I was trying to use. <clears throat> there we go. What Pokemon are you using right now? Alright, we need to buy some antidotes here. So let's do three, because there's a lot of poison types over here. And then let's do one Paralyzed Hill, just in case. I don't think I'm going to really need that. But let's go ahead and see. So right now, we're just going to be grinding up 911. 
fucking pig. Alright, so we got a decent elite, uh, we got an attacking Pokemon on the other side, so we're gonna go ahead and switch out to Captain Crunch, and grind up a few levels here. Okay, you got Pikachu, Roselia, Golbat, Gyarados, and HM Slave. Your team certainly isn't bad. You can always evolve that Pikachu. Uh, Roselia is a beast once you evolve it. I mean, it's still a beast now. Uh, Golbat is fucking amazing because it's attack power and speed. And Gyarados is a Gyarados. The only struggle you might be having with Gyarados is probably having good moves on it. But other than that, that team is pretty solid still. I don't remember if I had a Gyarados on my team. I did have a Raichu that got critted by a water type. So crits were a big thing in my game. Hopefully you're not having as bad luck versus crits. Alright, so we got another Hoot Hoot. Oh yeah, waterfalls at the very end of the game too, so that sucks. I think I did have a Gyarados on my team too, though. I had Torterra, that's for sure. I beat the game with it, I believe. Oh yeah, 911 is killing people at night. Oh wait, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. What's the number to 911? Uh, Krokotot. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're not going to train against those because Bide is real. Oh, probably shouldn't do the same against this one either, too. Wait, did we try to catch a Pokemon on this route? I don't believe so. We just started training. So I'm going to take a mulligan here. Because I totally forgot... That I need to catch Pokemon here. So don't hate me just yet, guys. But I'm gonna try to catch a Pokemon. And it's a hoot hoot. So I mean I don't benefit much from the mulligan, but it's fine. It's a fan. I, I catch the hoot hoot. Go ahead and go for another hit to ensure the red. Okay, whoo, that looked like it was going down for a second. Um, I think you get Aqua Tail soon, though, don't you, Jesse? In, in, the, in Gen 4? That's a good physical attacking move on your Gyarados. Alright, so we catch a Hoot Hoot. And with the Hoot Hoot, I would like to let everyone know that we do have a podcast on Spotify called Pokey Dippies. It's me and three of my close friends, and we play, we talk Pokemon and do some battles. We audio only on Spotify, of course, and then the video would be on the Patreon where it will be free. So don't worry, just because it's on Patreon does not mean you have to pay for it. All right, we got Hoot Hoot, and we're gonna name it Hooters. And how fitting, it's a female. Hooters. Hooters wings are amazing. Most people don't think so, but I certainly think they're good. Alright, now we can start officially training our Pokemon. Uh, let's see, go back to 911. I think our team standing right now is 911, Captain Crunch, and maybe Eevee. We'll have to see what we want to evolve that thing into. But, we'll go ahead and continue on here. Oh, we could have had a Caterpie. But we didn't, so, do oh, Splash. I need to switch that move around.
911 confuses the Caterpie. Caterpie hits itself in confusion. Nope, it doesn't. No taxes. Damn thing broke through. It's okay. 911 goes confusion. And almost gains that level. So close. But let's go ahead and give a little heal to our porky pig over here. And dude, Grumpig is just an amazing looking Pokemon. I don't think it's good in general, but, or it might be, I don't know. But as of, uh, as far as I know, it's not that good. But it looks awesome, at least in my opinion. It's one of the most underrated Gen 3 Pokemon, I believe. You are challenged by Youngster Joey. Oh, and it's level 7 Rattata. Oh, boy. Level spikes are already here. Let's go ahead. Oh, he missed the tackle, and we get our confusion off, and we hit. All right, we don't get the confusion, but we have a chance to knock it out. Ooh, and it has a chance to knock me out. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch out here to Captain Crunch. I was about to say, better not have Pursuit, because that would be whack. All right, and goes for the Tail Whip. That, this is a top tier Rattata. It's level 7. Boy, wasn't screwing around. Oh, oh, it's going Super Saiyan on us. But this Scratch should take it down. 911 grows to level 6. And Captain Crunch grows to level 9. So, we're getting some levels on our bonds, which is a good thing. It's in the top percentile. Can I get your number? Call me, maybe. Here's my number, so call me, maybe. Alright, 911, you need some loving. So, I'm going to give you some heals. Again, you're running through my potions, pig. You fat pig. Alright. So again, our main team is uh, Hooters and Totodile. We have Eevee in the back as a potential partner Pokemon. And we do have Rattata and Hooters in the back. Mainly as Foddermon, just in case. Alright, so we do have a level 6 Badoo. We do not want to have to switch out to our Totodile here. So let's go ahead and get this confusion off. Should be super effective. And it is, but we do not get the kill. Let's see how well we can take this absorb. We do have pretty good special defense in general. Base special defense. Didn't check out what uh what nature 911 is, so. We'll have to see about that. But we do grow another level. Level 7 for our Porky Pig here. And we learned Side Wave, which is a much better psychic attack. And I think we can take out a Centret with this thing. Building my confidence. And Side Wave. Oh, and we miss. Oh, beautiful. I build my confidence just to get knocked down. But I get up again. Because nothing's going to keep me down. And Side Wave connects this time. And it doesn't do much. Alright, Dizzy Punch comes off. Ooh, that's some good damage. Does not confuse us, but we are still going to switch out to our more defensive total dial here. And he connects another Dizzy Punch. Could have swore that thing wasn't 100% accuracy. But he connects, so we're going to go ahead and go off with a scratch here. Let's hope we can get the knockout. No, it hangs on. It's okay, Scratch is coming off, and we officially take it out this time. Oh. 36 EXP. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so here comes a C dot. We know what to do here. We're not gonna attack it, we're gonna leer it. We're gonna leer it like three or four times and knock it out in one hit. Oh, a bullet seed! That's not good. Stop, 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 stop. Stop! No, I can't lose my total dial now. No! I lost my total dial already? 
Oh, that is trash. All right, well, that sucks. So we are down a starter. Great. Just where I wanted to be. 911, you're going to carry the team now. Man, Jayana wasn't playing, man. Jesus Christ. Welcome, Nick Painter. Uh, Hooters might just go down here. Oh, yeah, it's certainly going to go down here. It's, it's, it's not going to tank this bide. And I wasn't going to switch nothing out to die to it. So, eh, that was a fodder mod anyway. All right, 911, come in to help us save us. What? Cena has quick attack since when? Man, this Cena was ready to wreck my whole team. Okay, so we have one last Pokemon to get through. Hopefully, we can get through it. It's a Cherubi. We're gonna go and stand with 911 here. 911 here. Can't be changing up the name like that. All right, and it's another level six. We'll go Psywave here. And that's what I get for predicting a C dot just to go for Bide. I should have switched. Should have switched. Remember, guys, this is a Drayano hack. It is not a traditional Heart Gold Soul Silver playthrough. So, the game will be a lot more intense and their movesets will be a lot more developed. I, I got lacking on that and I didn't think about it once we started that battle. So, we need to come back here, put our dead Pokemon in the box, regroup, and get our Spoink to level 10. Because I ain't having that, G. I don't like your cut, G. I don't like it at all. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and put... Let's put Totodile in the death box, sadly. And Hoot Hoot in the death box. Alright, sad friends. We have to continue on without you. So we're going to go ahead and grind a little bit. So, now is the time to talk to the chat here. How was your day, guys? How's it going? Hopefully you're enjoying your Thursday night or Friday morning, depending on where you live. And everything in between, really. Uh, Spoink is out here. I should have... I should... Oh, great, another miss. Can't be doing that, Spoink. Can't be doing that. I should have healed up at the Pokemon Center. I don't know what I was thinking. Should probably buy more p potions too. Now that I think about it. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, and has bug bite, and we lose point. All right, guys, this is a uh, horrible first episode. <laughs> oh my god, we lose point too. So now this is serious. Um, in the Drayano hack, there is a Shinx. It is available in this game. And he added... <laughs> he added Bug Bite to Weedle. So, Jesse, don't feel bad. I'm not doing so hot on my Nuzlocke either. So, now you are going to get to see me spam tackle like 30,000 times. Man, if he could have just hit that first side beam... Well, Spoink, it looks like you disappointed me yet again. Will not be using you on this team. It was mild, too. That means it was really specially defensive. Ugh. Oh, well. So now we have Eevee and Rattata. <laughs> Two normal types. This should be fun. And we're going to train over here where there's... Level 1s and 2s, 3s and 4s and 5s. Alright, let's go ahead and switch up their movesets too. So, 
tackles the first button so I can just spam tackle all right cool it died to a bullet seed C dot I did not expect that C dot to have bullet seed but that's what I get so these are my last two Pokemon <laughs> so sad and disappointing did a whole layout and everything and I might only have one episode in me all right so yeah I'm just gonna walk around and spam tackle hopefully y'all enjoy that whoa all right so who, who's coming off here Evie is gonna do some tackles and guess I'm gonna promote my podcast once again um, I do have a podcast out on Spotify it is called Pokey Dippies it's me and my friends we talk Pokemon and we do battles uh, the video of the stream will be on patreon but don't worry it will be free you don't have to pay for it I'm just gonna put it there to build up my patreon but yeah that's pretty much it show some support on Spotify and I'll we'll keep trucking on those podcasts we should be doing it every week on Wednesday if I can't upload Wednesday, I will upload Thursday mornings, and it should be exciting. We'll be going through Gen 1 to start. We've already discussed of our likes and dislikes and everything else that goes on in Gen 1. And then uh, next week's episode, we will be starting off with the Venusaur line. So we'll be doing... Uh, talks about Venusaur, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, strengths, weaknesses, any history we can dig up on it, uh, competitive vi viability, and then we will use it in battle, and then the winner of the mini tournament we have between us will get to choose the next Pokemon we talk about in Gen 1. Until we finish all of Gen 1, then we'll move on to Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6. Uh, so on and so forth. And the battles will be on Showdown. So, Wednesday nights, if you want to go check those out, we'll be there. If you want a sneak peek preview. But Eevee is going to take down the Hoot Hoot, of course. And we continue grinding because we're stupid and we let our Pokemon die alright so Zigzagoon prepared to die to some tackles and we gotta make sure we don't die while I'm grinding just mashing the A button so spam the chat if you see me being stupid and you see that red that red line come up real fast red health I should say surprised we're not one hit killing these things yet alright who, who goes down I'm gonna go heal I'm gonna play it safe you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And right now, I gotta fold and go to the goddamn Pokemon Center. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. And now we can go back to mashing the A button. Whoa. My phone is a Charizard, apparently, because it is screaming at me. Brrr. Another Bidoof. It, it, let me know also if we find a shiny, because I'm, like, half paying attention to the button mashing.
All right, level seven. We're slowly moving our way up in the world. <clears throat> At this rate, we might even get a number on. Should have probably caught a Pokemon in the cave, but eh, that's more battles, right? Oh, someone else to battle on the way up there. Don't want a chance that. Ooh, and we get a poison sting, but good thing we have antidotes. So Wurmple goes down, and we're gonna heal up our Pokemon. Because we're gonna be smart and not dumb. Alright, here you go, Eevee. Using one of my antidotes. Better pay me back, you son of a bitch. Alright, what do we find here? Another Bidoof. Imagine finding a shiny and it being a Bidoof. Ugh, gross. Bidoof is still trash. Shiny or not. Alright, let's see here. Sorry guys for the boring little parts of this episode, but uh, yeah, I was trying to run through the game all arrogant like, and this is what I get. Tackle, 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 tackle. Alright. Slowly but surely, gaining these levels. So guys, what legendary is your favorite out of Ho-Oh and Lugia? I would like to know. And tell me why. Because anyone could just be like, oh yeah, I like Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh. But why? I like Lugia, honestly. Mainly because of the movie, I guess. But... Also, I played silver first, and then I played gold, and I just like the way you can find uh, Lugia better through the World Islands. It was more fun going through the caves, I believe. <clears throat> but Ho-Oh's tower is still pretty legit. It's legitness. I was a gold boy growing up, so Ho-Oh was the one I always used. Raikou is my favorite legendary dog. <clears throat> well, you see, Jesse, we disagree on the main legendary, but I can agree on the legendary dog. Raikou was my favorite, too, because it looked like a tiger. And tigers are the best animal in the world. And then, uh, Raikou also was electric type, which is fucking badass. Not mm, your generic water fire grass core so he broke the trend there and then uh, my favorite legendary trio bird was Zapdos so that might have something to do with it eh true you're, you're right about that you didn't need HMs to get to ho -Oh. but I don't know it, was, it just seemed more fun going through the cave puzzle to me, like I said, everyone's different. Yeah, and now that he's competitively viable, I'm like, oh, there's even more of a reason to like Zapdos. Not now, as in he just got there, but you know, once I started competitive, I realized Zapdos is actually good, not just cool looking. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, we get bite! Hell yeah, I did forget a move. Forget Tail Whip. Don't need it. Should have probably gotten rid of Help in Hand, but you're uh, too late now. Alright, so we got Rattata. Let's just go ahead and keep tackling. Ooh, and there we go. We're starting to get that one hit KO. I mean, we should. We're level 8, fighting level 3s. We'll get one more level and then start leveling up over there. Probably get to level 12. 
think I'm gonna level up the rat attack too. So we'll see how that goes. Cause Rattata is low. Button mashing's fun. Button mashing's cool. This is what happens when you let your good Pokemon die. I know that didn't rhyme, but you know, it's kind of fits the situation. Bidoof, you should go down in one hit, right? Oh no. My favorite Gen 2 starter is and will always be Typhlosion. I know it's not the best competitively, but when I was a kid, it looked so freaking cool. And then it could learn Fire Punch and Ice, and not Ice Punch. It could learn Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. And it was like, yes? For Alligator Who? I could barbecue you with my electricity. Die. So. Typhlosion, Cyndaquil, Quilava even is my favorite Gen 2 starter. What about you, Jesse? Which one do you like? I know Norris likes uh, Totodile. He straight up said it was the best starter, and I was like, ha! You wish. Let's see what Bite does. Ooh, good and powerful damage, and the flinch. Damn right, Typhlosion's a G. Uh, it would go. I'd use flame, th uh, fire punch, thunder punch, flamethrower, and I don't know if it got earthquake, but if it did, I probably use that. I know I got dig. Typhlosion and Charizard has the same stats. Welcome, Christian, to the stream. That's fucking ridiculous. I don't think anymore, because they they bumped uh they buffed Charizard's defenses by ten in uh gen eight. So I think it's different now. <clears throat> but Typhlosion's never really been competitively viable, so that's weird. Donkey Punch. Alright, Christian. Well welcome with the donkey punch into the stream. I don't know who you're donkey punching, but I wonder if they enjoy it. But are you sure Typhlosion has base 100 speed? I would look it up, but I'm button mashing. But I don't think it is. Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. I am button mashing because I let my starter and the Pokemon I really wanted on my team die already. So I'm leveling up the lesser Pokemon. <laughs> because that's all I have left to do. Donkey punch my fart box. Alright, no one take that voice clip please. With the physical special split, Typhlosion move pool is lacking. It is and it isn't. I I think it gets Earth Power. Uh, I don't know. Any Pokemon can work if you make it work. I know uh, competitively... Competitively, I know... Oh, look. Rattata is having a fun time rolling around the grass. Competitively, I know for alligators the best. Typhlosion's eh, and Meganium is a defensive wall, and that's pretty much all it's good for. So, I mean, there's that. Extra sensory? That's gross. Why would they give a psychic type move like that to Typhlosion? I mean, with the special attack set, I guess it can make use of it, but. Eh, is it really worth it? It's not really worth it. And who who goes down? Thank God I was like, don't miss this tackle gun. I can't afford to lose you too. Then all I'll have is a freaking Eevee. We're gonna go ahead and 
give you a potion. Gen 2 starters did get the shaft, but Gen 6 starters are just as bad. I mean, yes, Greninja's great competitively. Chestnut's a defensive wall. But just the way they look is ugh. They are horrible looking creatures, and I wish they were never born. Green Ninja is okay looking, I guess. But I don't know. It's still... It's still eh. I would choose a Typhlosion over Greninja. Hell, I'd choose a, I'd choose a Feraligator over Greninja. Eevee can be decent. I'll have to figure out which typing I'm going to turn it into. <clears throat> Probably a Vaporeon at this point, since we did lose our Feraligator. But then that means I'd have to get a water stone. We'll see how that goes. Yes, I can appreciate that. Gen 6 did not have a fire fighting. The evolution the evolution I wanted at first was probably Leafeon. But as the team has died, I'm probably going to go Vaporeon. <laughs> But I do got to figure out when I'd be able to get that water stone in this game. I'm sure you can get it earlier than usual. But uh, I'll have to double check and make sure. It's certainly a defensive tank. And that's what I really want. And that's what I like Totodile for. But, you know, he wasn't defensive enough. We're going to go ahead and give another potion to Gun. And... Before I go to the next route, please guys remind me to buy more potions. Because <laughs> if I go into the next route without potions, I'm a screwed. You found me, brother. Yes, brother. And I will defeat you. No, brother. You won't. Quick attack. Oh, no. You have the speed. Yes, and I will use it to take you down. No, you bastard. I'm going to whip my tail back and forth. Oh, yes, but that won't help you defeat me. Quick attack. And Rattata goes down. I don't know why I made that a whole anime scene, but, you know. You can tell how the button mashing is getting to me. <laughs> Yeah, the Dreano games have pretty good access early game to everything. So, that's what I liked about this. That's what I was like, ah, I, I'm cool with playing a Dreano game. I wanted to do a Nuzlocke, but I didn't want to do a traditional game because those, those seem pretty easy as you play along. But, Dreano games certainly make you think when you're battling. Like I should have been, but I didn't. And I regret it. <laughs> so wholeheartedly. But it's okay. We're gonna make this work. Ooh. Why you hit me so hot? Bidoof, die. Jeez. Leave me alone. I'm just a lowly Rattata. Trying to help my trainer. All right, Eevee, come come in this man's life. Bidoof is, Bidoofs are annoying. They're bulky for no reason. And for some reason, only opponents Bidoofs have attack power. Never do you ever have a Bidoof who can actually hit. I'm not going to waste another potion. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Where do you get your ROMs? I had to get a new computer and lost all mine, so I can't play them. Um, I had, I will share the link once I look up exactly where. I don't want to give you a link and send you somewhere where it's going to fuck your computer up, so. But I will share a link on some more gaming posts, so anyone who feels like they want to download some of the stuff... They will be able to. But let me actually do some real investigating and actually get that right for you guys. So 
I don't send y'all to, again, a website where y'all can get a virus or anything like that. <clears throat> okay, so Badoof is gonna go down here. Should I do, if I make it to the gyms, should I make them all anime fights? That'd be badass. I think I'm gonna do that. That'd be my little gif gaff goof in this playthrough. If I could get that far. <laughs> I lost to trainer number two. Well, I didn't lose, but... My Pokemon got brutally murdered at trainer number two. Which is not good for me. Yeah. Sorry if this is boring, guys. But this is going to be a lot of A button mashing, killing wild Pokemon, going back and forth to the Pokemon Center. Dreano games are a game of grinding, though. So, don't judge me. Learn from my mistakes. Alright, let's go ahead. Another Bidoof. Can you give me something I can knock out in two hits instead of this? At least we're getting levels. That's all that matters. Ooh, we almost knocked it out in two hits. But brother, I made this for you. I don't want any hot Kool-Aid. You don't remember that gym on YouTube? Ooh, we got a Poochiana. I'm gonna be mad if I miss a shiny, because I'm just kind of here, mashing the shit. <clears throat> FYI, I want to mash your A. Ooh! Ooh! No! Shame on you, Poochiana, for trying to kill my gun. How dare you crit me? You son of a bitch! Yeah, screw that guy. Let me go ahead and come back in here. It's okay, gun. I got you. I will heal you back to full health. Well, technically, Nurse Joy will. But I will take you to her. Monkos? What's Monkos? <laughs> Dude, th that game almost gave me a heart attack. I was like, no! I saw Ratatat's life flashing before my eyes the whole five minutes I've had it. Oh, that was not fun. Monkos. That just sounds fun to say. Whew! But gun prevailed. 911's gun is here to stay. He said, no, I love my trainer. I'm going to live on one. And so he did. And now I can train it more. I can have it kill other normal types for me. Hey, a Ziggy Zagoon. Does quick attack do more damage than tackle? I need to look at that. Because if it does, I need to put Quick Attack as my main attack. I mean, I should probably have it as my main attack anyway. It's 100% accuracy, right? Doesn't miss. We're about to find out right here, right now. I'll tell you what. Alright, so... Oh, Quick Attack does less. Oh, onions have layers. Alright. So we'll just keep tackle the way it is. We need that extra 10 stab boost. Alright. We're almost at level 9 with both of our Pokemon. Then we're going to level up to level 12 over there on the other little... Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. Then we're going to level up to level 12 on the other side over there. And... I don't know what level the gym is, but we're going to try to get to, like, level 15. 
If anyone wants to look up what level the Dreano gym leaders are, don't tell me what Pokemon they have. I just want to know their highest level so I can grind the levels to their highest level. So it could be a fair fight. Or at least get, you know, within three levels of the highest level. At least. Uh -huh. My goal was to get to the first gym today. <laughs> it wasn't happening. Drano said, nah, dog, you playing my game, you're going to die. You're going to lose a couple of Pokemon. You ain't going to sweep my shit like that. And I was like, all right, man. Well, I guess you're right. When you're right, you're right. And our arch enemy, Poochiena. Fuck you and your older sleuth. Don't even take any chances. Not kill this Poochiana. Bastard. Almost trying to kill my Rattata. Focus energy. Now we can focus. <laughs> and not die. Ooh, Wurmple. I like Wurmple. It's almost an Eevee, but it has shittier evolutions. Dude, how are we going to do videos like that? Like, Eevee. I guess we'll just have to... Do each evolution as an episode. When we do the podcast thing. Didn't think of that. So, well, there you go. I'm thinking outside the box. Y'all are learning some behind-the-scenes stuff that I'm trying to do with the podcast here. And Jesse, you never explained to me what Moncos was. I'm intrigued. You caught my interest. It's a fun word to say, and I want to know what it means. Alright, so we'll get to level 15, or 14 for the first gym. I'll do a level under the top level. Just, you know, we're going to gain levels in the gym anyway. So, our target level is 14 for the first gym. So, I think, yeah, you know what? Even level 10 might be a good level to stop at. Okay, whoo, I just realized my health was really low. And I'm over here trying to kill a Poochiana. Sweetness. That way, I never forget. All right, let's go ahead and heal. <laughs> let's heal over Tata. Rattata, Ratatat. Who else used to call Rattata Ratatat when they were younger? I used to call it Ratatat all the time. Ratatat, Ratatat, Ratatat. And so my cousin was like, dude, we're retarded. We've been saying the name wrong our whole life. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, how do you say this Pokemon's name? Show me a picture. I was like, Ratatat. He's like, no, you're wrong. I was like, what do you mean I'm wrong? He was like, it's Rattata. I was like, stop fucking with me, dude. Stop fucking with me. And he'd be like, no, seriously, it's Rattata. Look how it's spelled. And then I saw, and I was like, man, we are retarded. <laughs> been saying it wrong this whole time I'm sh uh, I don't know but I'm glad I'm not the only one because in the show I could have swore they said Ratatat I mean they might have said Ratatat in the show I don't remember but that's how I remember hearing it so that's how I would say it so I don't know Clearly, y'all said the same thing, too, so maybe I'm not crazy. But I know I heard it somewhere, and that's why I called it that. Ratata! Ratata! Oh, I don't have headbutt yet. And that's why I nicknamed it Gun. Because it sounds like you're shooting an AK. Or an AR. 
or one of those guns. I'm not the best gun expert here, so I wouldn't know exactly which one I'm talking about. But I know it sounds like a gun. Ratata! One more level and we can move on to the next route. Oh, here we go. Sorry again for the button mashing, guys. Just know, hopefully, Saturday... Well, we're going to stream Saturday for sure. We will be streaming this. And hopefully we can get to the second gym in that one. I'm still going to try to get to the first gym. Just, you know. I'm not going to spend all night on this game either. If I could at least get to the next town and start the gym, the the Sprout Tower, that'd be great. I do not want an Umbreon though. As great and defensive as Umbreon is, it has hardly any attack stat, and I don't want it. I just don't want it. I don't want an Umbreon. Or a Dumbreon, am I right? Yeah, please, no one laugh at that. No, stupid. But we have a Wurmpool here. And we got a purple. Ratata. Ooh, and we get the one hit kill with the crit. We're almost there, guys. Slowly but surely, we are grinding to the finish line. Look. It has the name on its back. Yeah, so the guys at the morgue identified the bodies. Down goes another Rattata. Rattata! Eevee! Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Oh, the crit? Hell yeah, we got the crit. Got another Wurmple. Oh, and apparently the crit was a fluke. And it got Bug Bite. Oh, no. Okay. Woo. I saw the health bar dropping, and it made me nervous. Good thing we don't have berries on our Pokemon, because that Bug Bite would be getting real freaking annoying right about now. Oh, missed the door. Come on. Get in the door. I'm a, I'm a dummy. Can't get in the door. Keep going left and right and left and right. It's like those idiots you see on those uh, YouTube videos. They walk to the side, the side of the door and smack right in the window. That's what I was doing right there. That's what the done did say. All right, we're almost there, guys. So a few more battles to go. Probably like three, four, five, or six. I don't know. I don't remember how much EXP I had to go. Just mashing buttons here. Ooh, imagine finding a shiny hoot hoot though. Ooh boy, that'd be some that'd be something. That'd be something right there, I'll tell you what. Alright. Slowly but surely we are making our way down to level nine. Go gun go go gun go 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 gun gun go Ooh and we're smacking up these hoot hoots Ooh looks like one more battle of a hoot hoot should get us there or a Badoof Something with a little bit higher EXP than most other Pokemon I was about to say finally Pokemon don't want to battle us anymore You go down. Ooh, I thought it hung on on one. I was about to say, that's some crap. But we get to level nine and we can move on to the next route. Woohoo! All right, finally, guys. We worked so hard. And yet, so far, in the end, it fucking mattered. Now, our, our Rattata's in the top percentile. Hey, Joey, you want to see my Rattata? Sounds sus, dude. No, not like that. 
All right, let's go ahead and get seven. We're going to get seven of them there right there, right now, I tell you, but. And we're going to go ahead and try to get some puckle bars. All right, let's go ahead and get three more. I feel like 12 is a good number. 12 is a lucky number in no world, but you know, it, hopefully it's lucky for us, you know? Look at our cute little chat phone behind us. Hey, screw you, Weedle. Get out of my face. Get that coin out of my face. I don't want to see you right now, douchebag. You killed my spoink. Is that a euphemism? No! You too, bastard! Back to back Pokemon that killed my team. Hope you burn in hell. Well, just wait till I get a Charizard. I'm gonna come back and burn this whole fucking forest down. <sighs> it's okay, Joe. It's okay. I can't hurt you anymore. Battle's over. The battle's over. Alright, we're gonna avoid that lady. Oh, I think, oh yeah, we're gonna talk to our mother. Hello, Joe. I heard from Professor Helm that you went on a long trip. Wish well, you would've told me, you son of a bitch. What about your money? Should I save it? No. You know what? She should've saved it. You know what, mother? I was a little too hard on you. Oh, what the hell did I do? Mother? Please save my money, mother. Because that's the only way you can get certain items. Like, choice choice items. Mother, I need you to save my money. Please save me some money, Mother. Don't go blowing it all on strippers and cocaine. Oh, wait, that's dead. My bad. Oh, no, no cut tree. Found a potion. Even better. Our luck is looking up. Let's see what we can capture here. Ooh, get it. Alright. First encounter in the dark cave. What do we get? Ooh, that sucks, honestly. Do we risk it and throw a Pokeball? It's a fighting type Pokemon. Of all things. We find a fighting type Pokemon. We only have normal types. Screw it. Throw in a Pokeball. Yes! 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 Yes. Ooh. What kind of Makuhita? Oh, that makes me happy. And we're going to nickname this thing Rakishi. If I know how to spell it right. Rocky. She. If that's not right, you can yell at me in the comments. But that's what I'm going with. Woo! Hell yeah. We got ourselves a um, Makuhita. Ugh. Gross. It's timid nature. Well, it's not going to be one to know who's the strongest competitions, but, you know. It'll do, donkey. It'll do. Look at you, you little fat munchkin. Oh, you're so happy. Now, don't die. Alright, that man is just sleeping. Oh, I should have checked out what, uh, what, uh, moves it has. Alright, so it has tackle, focus energy, sand attack, arm thrust. Good <laughs> thing, we caught it on the first try, because arm thrust would have fucked us up. I'm confident now. 
This battle, bitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, don't hurt me. Oh, and look at this. Rakishi is gonna have a field day. Arm thrust. Ooh, arm thrust. Ooh. Oh, only two times? Come on. Jigglypuff wants to pound. We're gonna go arm thrust. Jiggly. Jiggly dead. Rakishi defeats Jigglypuff. All right, now she sends out a skitty. Oh, that's shitty. You're gonna die to an arm thrust. Go! Oh, Skitty's faster, so it gets off a growl. But will it matter? We'll find out right now. And it kind of does. It's a four hit. And we get the four hits! Skitty goes down! Skitty's going down, 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 down. Just like Jigglypuff did. Ooh, yeah, it's going down. What's next? So fairy. All right, you bulky bitch. It's time for you to go down, too. You ain't got your fairy typing yet. So, you can die. One. Two. Oh, that's it. Two times, and we're infatuated with that little round piece of crap. We're going to go ahead and switch out. I don't want to have to... Uh, do it no yeah, yeah. you know what let's test it how much do you really love her Rakishi oh you're immobilized okay well now it's growled for a second time so we're gonna go ahead and switch out Eevee make an appearance Alright, let's go ahead and go for a tackle attack and end this Clefairy's life. Yes! Guys, I think Makuhita is going to be the savior of our... Whatchamacallit? Of our Nuzlocke, honestly. I think we've been blessed by the Pokemon gods. And we have been given an amazing Pokemon in Makuhita. Pokeball here. All right, and undo to popular belief, this is still the same route. I would always catch Pokemon on the route underneath and then a route over here. But it's the same route. So you can't do that. So if you've been doing that all your life, stop it. You can't do it no more. I mean, technically you can. No one can tell you really what to do. But I'm not going to do it. So there's that. The foe's spinner rack used poison sting. Don't you poison me, you son of a bitch. Alright. And we grow to level. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch out so everyone can try to grow to level. Ooh, vital throw. Forget a move. What does vital throw do? The user allows the foe to attack first in return. This throw move never misses. And we get rid of sand attack, right? What do we need it for? That'll be if we get, like, uh, double teamed a lot. But, uh, Ladybug's coming in, so let's go ahead and go to Eevee here. I want to have fucking air slash or something and take out Makuhita with one hit. Alright, let's go tackle. Ladybug, you supersonic! He breaks through because he's a beast. And we gain 81 EXP. All right, we have an Encata coming in. Uh, that's a ground and bug type. Took me forever to learn that. Let's go ahead and go to gun here. All right, let's go ahead and go with the tackle. 
Lucky Scratch. Okay, we take it pretty well. Good job, gun. Let's go ahead and keep getting these tackles off. And knock out this Nakata now! Ah! Our Rattata is at full power! Alright, we got a Surskit. We're gonna go ahead and go back to Eevee. Welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. If you're new, please leave a like, subscribe, follow if you can. We are almost at our goal of 100 followers. So close to it, I can almost taste it. But yeah, being at 100 followers is where we need to be. Alright, so we get another tackle off. Ooh, not quite level 10, but we almost got there. Alright, cool. So, the Bug Hatcher enjoyed our battle. So, we're going to be like, yeah, dog. We can connect. It's cool. Alright. Let's avoid all these Pokemon over here. Oh, not too. No, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. I tried to run away. That doesn't count. Yes. Uh, I ran away. It doesn't count. I don't care what anyone says. That does not count. It's some bullshit. I ain't doing it. I just got Makuhita. That does not count at all. Oh, do we have to fight her? I knew it was you, Joe. How'd you get past me? Here's something neat for you. Oh, versus recorder. Thanks. Now I can never use this since... Whatever. Alright, guys. Whoo! We're finally here at the next city after a long episode of losing half our team and grinding. We are here! Oh, and my hand hurts from all the a mat and mash little, little, button mashing and shit we had to do. But we are here. We are in the Pokemon Center. We are healing. Rakishi feels better. Damn right, Rakishi feels better. And that guy's is what we would call a mulligan. Because come on, that's not fair. We're trying to get to the next city. No death. But, I thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I have my podcast on Spotify called Pokey Dippies. Please check it out. Guarantee it'll be a lot of fun and entertaining for y'all to watch. Uh, all the recordings will be uploaded on Saturdays to the Patreon. I will send a link out on all my formats. So, Facebook, Twitter, and... I mean, can't really do it on YouTube, right? But... We'll do that there, so all videos will be on Patreon. And that's pretty much it, guys. And if you haven't done so yet, please leave a like, follow, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.